Congressman Connor Lamb is expected to announce his candidacy for the U.S. Senate as early as next week. That's what sources are telling KDK's political editor John Delano, who broke the story for us. And tonight, John previews what will likely be a long and expensive political battle. Sources tell me that Connor Lamb is running for the Democratic nomination for Senate and is likely to make his announcement next Friday at the IBEW Union Hall on the South Side. This will set off a battle royale within the Democratic Party. It's a crowded field, seven Republicans and nine Democrats running for the seat of retiring Senator Pat Toomey. Lamb becomes the 10th Democrat, but he's already a top tier candidate, say political analysts. Connor Lamb's biggest strength is that he's won some tough elections. The 37-year-old Democrat first beat a Republican in a 20-point Trump district, then nine months later defeated incumbent Republican Keith Rothfuss. Last November, he won a close election over GOP challenger Sean Parnell. Three wins in three years. What he needs to sell to voters is that he can win this. What might hurt Lamb, says Democratic strategist Mike Mickus, is that he's a moderate in a party that's moving left. Progressives have done pretty well over the years, so uh, over the last few years. So that shows that he may have some challenges with a Democratic primary election. Another challenge, John Fetterman, a fellow Western Pennsylvanian who has already amassed $3.1 million in the bank compared to Lamb's $1.8 million. And then there's Philadelphia. The rules have changed in a Democratic primary. Um, the, the power has shifted to the southeastern part of the state, Philadelphia and, and the suburbs. Just ask Connor's uncle, city controller Michael Lamb, who lost a statewide Democratic primary to a Philadelphian. So far, Philadelphia has two better known local candidates, Montgomery County Commissioner Val Arcouche and Philadelphia State Representative Malcolm Kenyatta. Commissioner Val Arcouche is the only candidate from the southeastern suburbs at this point, major candidate, and also at this point, the only woman in the field. Political analyst Larry Seisler thinks Arkush can win the Philly suburbs while Kenyatta could lead in the city, putting Fetterman and Lamb at a disadvantage in a region with far more Democrats than here. Of course, it's far too early to predict anything. This complicated game of political chess is only just beginning. John Delano, KDKA News.